Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Good. Fine. Did you have a good day? Yeah, I finished the homework. So I'll... Good, very good. Yeah, I finished it. All right. Maciel, Rosibel, and Jessica, um, what part of the What? What part uh, of the platform are you doing? I finished uh, the exercise in the in the platform. Excellent. What about you, I, Rosibel? I finished I finished today also. I already got the diplomas. Excellent. And Jessica? Can you hear me, Jessica? Okay, maybe not. You know, the internet signal has been uh, a little bit irregular today because of the rain, the wind, and, 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 and weather aspects. So, all right. So, uh, welcome back. What is today's date? Uh, Tuesday, uh -huh. November the 17th. Good. Tuesday, November the 17th. What year? 2020. Good. 2020. Nice. Do you guys remember the topics that we covered yesterday? Mm. <laughs> Let me see. I was wrong. <laughs> Um, models for recommendations and opinions. Right. Models for recommendations and opinion. Right. Oh, you know what? On the platform today, I was doing that part, and it will it will not allow me to use uh, a few words that were given on the instructions. Right. And I. I called someone and they said that uh, maybe uh, it was a problem with the platform because I thought I was using it correctly because it would only let us use just a few. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and remember that the platform uh, does have uh, issues, you know, and, and sometimes when you're putting the correct answer, the platform is not going to accept it, even though you're using the right uh, answer. Yeah, so, that's what happened to me. Yeah, so, yeah, so, but the most important part is that you guys finished the, the, the platform, so you guys are ready for the next level. So, congratulations. Thank you. And, Mr., and next uh -huh. level start on Monday. Next Monday. Yeah, this coming Monday. Correct. Okay. Yes, and, and that is the reason why you guys have until Thursday night to finish um, uh, the platform because on Friday morning, Inglés Corporativo is going to send your names with your reports. Uh, so whoever is not on the list with the 80% of the score of the platform uh, will not be eligible to, to be part of the next level. I was able to finish because I was homesick. So, <laughs> all right. If I would have been at work, I would not, I would not have time to do. <laughs> okay, right. You know. So so good you... thing I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know, when there is a negative situation, there's got to be always something positive out of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, any questions or comments about yesterday? No. Okay. Um, do you guys remember the function of tag questions? Like short answers? 
Starting with the opposite and ne in positive answers. Okay. Can you give me an example? Like, um, my, um, the weather is being bad, hasn't it? Okay, good, very good. That's a good example of a tag question. Um, what is the function of a tag question? Anybody? No, to know the opinion uh, of the other person. Okay, that is one, to know the opinion of another person. And what is the other function? I think it's, it's, it's for confirm what they're asking or they are. Right, exactly. So, uh, like Arnoldo says, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to know the opinion of the other person, and Guillermo says to confirm uh, previous information. So you say, uh, so Guadalajara is in Guatemala, isn't it? You know, well, so you okay. want to confirm. Oh, yeah. So the person says, no, it's not. Guadalajara is in Mexico. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Or if you go to uh, uh, Volcán de San Salvador at this time, at this moment, it's, it's, there's a lot of wind. It's very windy. So you will be like, oh, my goodness, it's very cold, isn't it? You expect the other person to agree with you. Because sometimes the TAD question is rhetorical, right? So we know the answer, but you still make the question. Because you expect the other person to agree with you. Okay, so let me... Um, so what is the what is the rule to use uh, tag questions? What's the rule? Uh, is uh, let me see. You have if you are asking in in positive, uh, you may you must you must finish the question in negative. Uh, even if using the model or even the verb to be. Right, very good. So if, no. the, or, if the original sentence is negative, the third question has to be positive. Yeah. If the original statement is positive, then the third question has to be negative. Good, very good. So verb to be, models, um, what is the exception? What is the only exception when you break uh, the rule that Guillermo just explained? No, I don't know. Okay, let, let me write it in the chat. So you said, I am not a good soccer player. Okay. I'm not a good soccer player. What would be the tab question for that one? Am I? Am I? Excellent. So you say, am I? Remember that the personal pronoun I is always with capital letter. So you say, I am late. So you go to a job interview, they say nine o'clock and you arrive at 920. So you knock on the door and you tell the person inside, I am late. What is the tag question here? Am I? I? Uh -uh. Is, isn't it? Uh -uh. Now, this is the only exception that we have. So we said positive. If the original sentence is positive, the tag question has to be negative. If the original statement is negative, the tag question has to be positive. So you will say, R and I. I am late, R and I. Well, you say, but R is only for you, we, they. You are right. Usually you use R with you, we, and they. But remember that English has uh, rules and for those rules, there is an exception, a valid exception. So in this case, it says, I am late, R and I. Mm -hmm. 
So the only um, the only exception is when you are using M in a positive form, the tab question will always be R and I, R and I. Okay, so is this explanation clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, let me show you this. Right here. <laughs> All right. Can you see the image? Yes. Yeah. Okay, what can you tell me about the image? Uh, it's someone who is putting letters in a post of in a mail in a mailbox. Good. Someone putting letters in a mailbox. Good. How do you say sovereigns in English? Envelopes. 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 Yes. What is the name of the yellow envelope? Mm. It's got the same name that we have in Spanish. Mm. Papel Manila. Yeah, Manila envelope. Oh, okay. Yeah, they call it Manila envelope. Okay. Um, any questions about the image? No. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, it looks that someone's is worried about uh, about. Um, about an, uh, I don't know, uh, a new. Okay. All right. So we it have. It looks like, like that. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Someone is worried in the conversation. Yeah. Um, how many people in the conversation? Two. 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 What are their names? Sarah and Tom. Sarah and Tom. All right. So I need two volunteers to read that conversation. Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And Todd? Okay, I, I, I can be told. Okay, go ahead. One, two, three, go. Health insurance, child care bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Mm -hmm. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. College should pro provide, sorry. College should provide free daycare for a student's child. For a I student's think so. Child. With children. Sorry, with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Excellent, very good, thank you. All right, um, any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Uh, I'm not sure about making ends meet. Okay. Can somebody explain uh, the meaning of that expression, making ends meet? Like you have a salary or an amount of money, you know how much you have until the end of the month. So she's worried that she'll be, she's not gonna be able to have enough money to pay all her expenses. Exactly, that's exactly what it is. When the person is worried, that he or she is not going to have enough to cover uh, the person's responsibilities. Yes. All right. Any other questions, class? No. Okay. So what is the meaning of cheap? And childcare isn't cheap, is it? That is, that is not, that it is expensive, the opposite of expensive. Okay. What is the other meaning of cheap? Yeah, that would be like the, um, the first meaning that comes to people's minds, like cheap, not expensive. It's what low. Would, 
Huh? Low. Low. Okay. Uh, low quality. Low quality. So uh, let's say I bought a, 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 a cell phone for $20. The cell phone is brand new. So your first impression is, if you're paying $20 for a new cell phone, the cell phone is cheap, you know? But in that, in that sense, when you say cheap, you're, you're saying that it has a low price, but also low quality. Mm -hmm. Low quality. Yep, cheap. Low. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. I need to put it. I need to put it. All right. Okay. Any any questions? Any questions about the conversation? No. No, no teacher. All right. So let me. Okay, we got this here. So I know you guys have seen this topic um, many times. Can you see the examples that I'm sharing with you? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Carlos, can you please read the first one? Sure, uh, tag questions for opinions. Affirmative mm -hmm. statement plus negative tag. Hell insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the original statement is affirmative, the tag question has to be negative. Yes, another volunteer to read number two, please. There are lots of Criminals in the city, aren't there? Uh -huh. There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Good. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone else? Uh, example number three? Graffiti. Graffiti, uh -huh. Go Graffiti ahead. makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Good. Uh, next one, please. Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Okay, good. So as you can see, the first and the second example, the main verb is verb to be. In example number three, there is nothing to tell you. Uh, if it's verb to be, you know, it's, it's, it's more simple to go from positive, negative, negative, positive. But in this case, graffiti makes everything look ugly. So what you need to do, okay. you, you, you need to identify the grammatical tense in the sentence for you to create the tad question. So graffiti makes everything look ugly. Oh, that is the simple present. So what is the negative auxiliary for the simple present? Doesn't. Doesn't. And then number four, Doesn't. you have okay. a model, should, then the tad question is shouldn't. Okay, uh, any questions in the first four uh, examples? No. No? Okay, so let's continue with the second part, negative statement plus affirmative tag. Volunteer to read the first one. Chai care isn't cheap, is it? Good. Next one, please. There aren't enough police, are there? Are there? Uh-huh. Number three. People don't care about our city, do they? Exactly. And the last one, someone else? You can find affordable child care, can you? Exactly, thank you very much. So the second part, the, the ones you just read, you know, everything, the original statement is negative. So the third question must be positive. Any questions here? No. No? Okay, no. so. Your first exercise, I will assign you to um, work in pairs and you will give your opinion about El Salvador and you will have to use uh, that questions to give um, your opinion. So let me do this here. And okay, ta -da 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 -da, ta -da 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 all right, so let's do this. Talk about El Salvador and use that question. Or talk about your life if you want.
uh, with this storm? Yes. Aren't they? Aren't they? Yes. <laughs> yes, they 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 are. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Uh, there are there are lots of uh, uh, people affected for the for the hurricane in Nicaragua. Uh, are in there? Mm -hmm. It, it, it has been like that all day, windy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good because uh, yeah. we're supposed to get a lot of rain today. They say that. The tropical storm was yeah. hitting El Salvador today afternoon, but thank God. Yeah, I hope they stay like that. Yeah. Because so we in, can... in, Nicar in Nicaragua, it's... Oh, yeah, it's yeah, Nicaragua is... Really hard. Yeah. The tropical storm hit the very, very hard, and there are a lot of people that lost their homes. How are we supposed to say? Should... Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes. <laughs> Karen? Hello. How are I you? I just joined Karen? into the room. <laughs> yes. Where have you been? I was waiting. <laughs> Were you on vacation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Are, are, are you are you finished with the platform, Karen? Uh, um, it almost. I almost okay. finished. Yes. All right. I, I'm working on the platform. Um, uh, late today. Uh huh. Okay. Today, uh, around 11 p.m. All right. Good. What about you, Herbert? Are you finished with the platform? Yes, sir. I already did. Okay, Rosibel, you say you're finished with the platform too. Yes, I'm finished. That's what I, I was kind of confused because I got to the last part. Uh huh. And and the last two questions were giving giving me trouble. Okay. So at the end, I don't know why it didn't let me finish the last one, and and it took me out. So I went into the progress portion. Uh huh. He said that I have completed oh. 96%, right. I think. Oh, nice, nice. 96 so, is a so, good score. So I don't know. I didn't know if it was, you know, correct or not. <laughs> okay, good. Nice, good. Yes, I already finished um, all of them. Okay, I, I hope that the, the next day that I can say the I'm same. I'm sorry. I hope that 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 I will stay in your in your place the next year. Yes, I know that you will. I think that now it's a little bit easier, isn't it? Now that we are working online. Um, it's a little it, it it's a little bit difficult because you have to learn uh, by by yourself. Uh, because the teacher doesn't have uh, uh, in touch with you to explain uh, things that you need to understand. And in some cases, uh, the teacher doesn't have uh, time to help you. Uh, I, I, I don't know if you, if you remember that the teacher uh, led us a time uh, to to go and and ask uh, something if you don't understand in the class. Well, some of them do that, but almost none of them. In mm -hmm. my case, I I barely have um, teachers who did that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, I mean, like when, when you have presential classes, like uh, Valentina was saying, you know, there is more interaction between the teacher and the students. You see the person. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, now with the digital version, you know, it's a, there's, there's more distance between the two parts. 
it's more difficult for you too, I think. Um, you know, it has pros and cons uh, because like w when you're doing home office, you know, you don't have to worry about traffic. You don't saving, uh, you don't have to spend in gasoline. Uh, your time is more abundant, but you know, like in my personal case, I, I teach from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. So I teach for four hours, the same chair, the same table, same position and everything. <laughs> in so, the same place. <laughs> right. So when, when I finish the class at 10 p.m., you see my table, you see glasses, you see pupusas, you see napkins. It's a whole mess. For four hours, I've been eating and, and checking things and... So it's got yeah. pros and cons. But I think it happened that to me too. <laughs> the biggest advantage maybe is that you are saving money. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The electricity bill is is higher here at home because you know uh, I'm usually like before the emergency I was always outside. Now I, I now it's the opposite. I'm always here. So the, the electricity bill is a little bit higher, but it's, uh, you know, that makes up with the money that I save in gasoline, the time that I save. So it's, uh, like I said, it's got pros and cons. Yes, definitely. And do you miss to see your, like your, uh, how do you say, alumnus? Uh, students, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, yes, I miss yes. my students, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, when, when you are in a face-to-face, -face, um, what do you call it, uh, class, you know, there's more interaction, uh, there are more questions, people ask you like, look, I don't understand this. I, I think that is more, I think that is more easy uh, uh, to you as a teacher, see, see your start, a student, if they are interested in the class. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, you know, I, and I, I, I have better control of my classes if it's face to face, you know, because, uh, you know, you're always making eye contact, you know, who's paying attention, yeah. who's not. And, and with these video conferences, you know, like you don't know if the person is there or not. Maybe they, they are eating yeah. or doing something else. Right, right. You know, it yeah, happens my, to My me. teacher. Uh huh. My my teachers told us that uh, we we have to put a, a picture, a, a perfect picture, because they 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 feel that that is nobody in the in the in the in right. The, uh, I don't know how to say. Yeah, in the background. Yeah, yeah in the background. Uh, yeah, yeah, in the background. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So I mean, like a, a, a profile picture. Uh, should be nice if everybody puts up a, a profile picture. Like if I'm, I'm speaking with Valentina right now and I have no idea what she looks like. You know? It would be better if all of us Sorry, did you? What is it? One more time? It would be even better if all of us turn on our camera. Right, right. You know, the only problem when you turn, when everybody turns on their camera, it's like the signal, uh, the quality decreases. So, uh, but yeah, it, it, I teach other classes that I take attendance, you know, I call them one by one. And it's mandatory that when mm -hmm. I mention their names, they have to say present and they have to activate their camera. Present. Yep. Oh, but that is, so you are working with INSAFOR and also you have classes with other institutes. Yes, I, I work for other institutions too. So uh, same thing, like I was telling you, okay, Carmen Maria, uh, Carla Elizabeth, Jaime Antonio. So they say present mm -hmm. and they need to activate their cameras so we can see that they are there, you know. So that's and what they are doing. Right, right. <laughs> uh, I have class at, at 6, 15 a.m. And we have to, to turn off the camera. And oh my God, <laughs> our faces are what's, 
what classes? You mean university classes? Yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh, all my classmates have a, a terrible face. Like they just wake up. Yes, <laughs> yes. Right. Because right. it's too early at 6 15 a.m. Yes. And just wake <laughs> Like, I think that at that time, I'm still, I'm still sleeping. Right. <laughs> Right. Uh, what time do you get up for your classes? Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I wake up at, uh, I have classes at 6 a.m. too, so in some days I wake up at 5.15. <laughs> so you don't even take breakfast before your class starts? No, no. In some classes, I I eat during the class. <laughs> <laughs> but in the ones that you don't need to turn on your your camera. No, no, no. In my class uh, at six a.m. No, but in the six fifteen. Yes. <laughs> yes. And until what time do you have classes? Uh, nine thirty. Nine thirty. So you are yeah. the four subjects. Yes. Yes. Yes, and, and finish to six a.m. Oh tomorrow. So you're working right now, Julius? Right now, yes. And you finish tomorrow at six a.m. Uh, no, no. I I talk about, about the Yota. Okay. <clears throat> what yes. what have they said? Uh, we receive the storm around to one a.m. Okay. And finish at six a.m. to Wednesday tomorrow. Okay, so we so we will have rain no, for 6 like six p.m. I'm sorry, six p.m. The rain is the rain start to one a.m. And it will finish 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yes. So we will have all rain day. all day. All day, a storm and rain. We will have a, a a bad weather for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We we have to be careful. You know, whether you're driving a car, or riding a motorcycle, you have to be extra careful. Yes. Yes. Because driving under the rain is, is, is not nice. No, it's very dangerous. Yep, yep. So, well, all right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, welcome back. Um, any questions or comments on how to use tag questions? Okay, so remember, make a story short. If the original statement is positive, the tag question has to be negative. If the original statement is negative, the tag question has to be positive. And <laughs> what is the exception? The only exception that we have for that universal uh, structure or rule? Aren't it? Um, so if you're saying I am late, I am the best, I am lazy, for you to make the tag question for am, you should say aren't. Aren't. We, yes. have, a, we have a question. It's positive, right? Yeah, That's only if it's positive. Word. Exactly. Only if it's positive. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So can you see the chat? Yes. Okay, can yes. you read the example? Um, I'm not, I'm not a, a good soccer player, am I? Am now, I? that one is still normal, but if the original statement is positive, that's when the exception comes into action. So I am late, aren't I, aren't I? So remember, uh, how do you pronounce uh, this word that I'm putting in the chat right now? I have a question. 
are. How are. many syllables do you hear? One. One. So uh, are. the same yeah. way that you pronounce only one syllable when it's positive, you do exactly the same thing when it's negative. So uh, letter E is always quiet. So are, aren't, aren't, aren't. So you don't pronounce two syllables. You only pronounce one. So you say aren't. So I am late, aren't I, aren't I, okay? Uh, Eduardo, what is your question? Wait, wait. I think you already told, you already told us. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. For example, if I, I, I can say, hey, I'm not late, I am? Am I? I'm, am I, am I? Am I? Am I? Yeah, am I, yeah, am yes. I, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. right. All right. So, Teacher. yes? Teacher. Um, on our group, we said something like the government should have a safety plan, shouldn't it, or shouldn't they? No, shouldn't it. Uh -huh, shouldn't yes. it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we, we were discussing about, um, sh we know government is not a person, but it's made. It's a third person uh, singular. People who, yeah, okay. Right, but in a real conversation, you could say, well, the, the government should have uh, an emergency plan, shouldn't they? You know, if you say, shouldn't they, the message is still clear. Grammatically speaking, it's not mm -hmm. good, but the message is there. But the right uh, answer they, should people be, people understand these people in the government. Right, right, but the right answer what is, is okay. shouldn't it? So can you use both? Okay. Uh, in a real life situation, you can. Grammatically speaking, there is only one good answer, and that is shouldn't it. Okay. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Any other questions? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what is the population in El Salvador? How many people do we have? Almost seven million, I think. Seven million. Okay. Do you think that's too many people for the size of our country? Yes. Of course, a lot because, for example, in Costa Rica has the double uh, size of El Salvador and the half of people, for example. Yep, yep. yep. So what do you think are the factors? Even in Honduras. Right, yeah. Yeah, Honduras is big. Nicaragua is big, you know. So, uh, and they have less population. Right. So, uh, so what do you think contributes to uh, for a country to have overpopulation? So, sorry, you, you, you repeat again a question. Sure. Uh, what factors do you think uh, contribute for a country to have overpopulation? I think the, they don't make enough. Um, how do you say this? Announcements on how women can take care of themselves, you know. Okay. We still, we still have that, um, that Catholics or any, you know, the religions issues. Uh -huh. Taboo. Mm -hmm. That taboo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The religions issue and yeah, that's true. Sometimes also um, people, well, I mean, um, people out of the town, they don't have like enough money to buy sometimes, you know, them things to avoid having kids. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. Poverty, yes. So uh, that depends of, of, of education, uh, in, 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 in yes. global education, global. Right. Yeah, there are many factors that have a direct impact on overpopulation, like poverty, yeah. education, uh, religion. So they are, you know. Okay. Uh, any other opinions before I show you the questions you guys will be discussing? Thirteen. Okay. So let me let me show you this. Uh -huh, right here. All right, can you see the questions? 
Okay, so take a, take a screenshot. Uh, I will reassign you so you guys um, keep practicing your speaking. Recreate, recreate. Okay, let me see. Room seven. And everybody else has a partner. So ask and answer the, the questions. Here we go. We're almost done. And they they have a lot of kids, uh, and sometimes even doesn't have uh, uh, work doesn't have work, or mm -hmm. they are unemployed. Uh, so I think there is a real problem in in, this, in our country. Yes, but maybe uh, before. Uh, the, this problem has has a big. For example, for example, my my grandmother has uh, fourteen child. Wow! And yes, <laughs> and the other grandmother for 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 my the mom of my my father has. Uh, seven seven child maybe before it was a, a very common if you have a, a lot of child but in this well in 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 my town uh, it's not uh, there's not a problem of population but in our country, okay, I think the problem is there's many, there is many people in the same places. I mean, the, the our, our country is small, but most people live in same, in same places. For example, in okay. San Salvador, there's like 2 million people just in there. Yes. In, in and for small. example, in Usultan, Morazan, La Union, you can see a lot of fields that doesn't leave people. Yes, exactly. I I think in we if we compare El Salvador with Honduras, for example, with Nicaragua, for example, Nicaragua. They, they have a lot of more space and less people. But anyway, I think um here we have a, a, a the, the the problem is um, there's places with a lot of people, and as you say, um, some 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 uh, departments. I think it's correct to say departments um, have little less people. Yes. Um, for example, there are other, other countries that have a lot of population. For example, China, it has a lot. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, but even though it's uh, it's not a, um, I mean, there were not a lot of 
a really lot of people that uh, who passed away at that time because it comes to my mind, for example, do you remember, I, I'm not sure in what year that happened, but in Malaysia, that uh, the earthquake that causes, uh, caused uh, a tsunami. Ah, yes. And around, I think that they were around 2,500 people, 1,000 people, I'm sorry. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's, that's a very, very uh, natural, well, very, I don't know how to say, very strength, uh, very, uh, it's a big, I don't know, ah, I, I lose, I lose my mind <laughs> when I was talking. The idea. Yeah, yeah I lose the idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that, that disaster, I don't know, um, reduced the overpopulation on Malaysia. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we were, we were talking, teacher, about the, I mean, it's true that uh, natural disasters reduce the population, but not in a very significant way, for example, uh, at least here in El Salvador, right? Not like on right. places or countries. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about uh, the earthquake, uh, we were talking about the, um, I don't know, the, 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 the earthquake in Malaysia, but I think that the, it depends on the natural disaster, for example, um, in Guatemala, when the, 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 the volcano makes eruption and made the eruption and, and, and took away one of the villages um, that was close to the, to, the, to the volcano. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was like yeah. three or It was, thousand, it was hundred of, 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 of people who were who died there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not, it's not, the natural desertion is not that common um, than tornadoes or, or, or storms. Yes, not too strange like in other countries. Strong, yeah. Strong. Are the problems of poverty population different in the developed and developing worlds? Stop that situation, but the scientific can find a new way to stop uh, overpopulation, it will be a good idea. So I, I think they, they should keep uh, investing. Should in definitely research and treatments, including surrogacy, be continued? Well, I don't understand this question. Should infer, infer research and treatment during su I get it. I get it. Uh, yes, I, get I it. think uh, I think it should continue if people uh, know what that means and if they are agree, I consider uh, a good idea to stop overpopulation. Mm. In overpopulation yeah, can you imagine to need to go to a different planet because we not, we don't have enough of space enough space of of more resources natural resources I mean yes it is completely out of your mind mm -hmm. okay number seven uh, do you think there should be a limit on the number of children couples can have in countries with overpopulation? Totally. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. A absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Especially in in poor countries like like this, because after of the mm -hmm. you have a uh, low resources, a uh, low space for education, work, uh, opportunities to grow. Uh, I mean, it is not. I think I, 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 it is my point of view. I think it is not necessary to have children mm -hmm. if you are not able to to raise them. Yes. In China, they they have a, a like a rule or law about oh, that. Yes. You can also you can only have two two children for for. For a couple, I think just one. 
Yes, but the second, uh, you have to to give give him or her for the military uh, to the army. The, for, uh -huh, for the army, yes. Wow! Wow! And have in countries with overpopulation, I think so. Wow! Yes, me too. I'm it's in because favor. I think there should be a law. Oh, I don't know. Maybe like, for example, how can you be having one, two, three, four, five kids when you don't even, when you are not even able to, you know. Uh, maintain yes. uh, two kids yes I, I don't get it i don't understand that <laughs> yes, I think that well i don't know why pe people sometimes it's kind of selfish i think because they they are they are not thinking about the kids i mean if you are not able to feed just one kid how how come you are going to be able to feed four or five kids and people yeah. don't think about that they are just mm -hmm. like doing maybe that. maybe before was possible because there was an overpopulation so our great great grandfathers <laughs> <laughs> were you know there was there was enough like food you know on on the country uh -huh. that they produce their own food. Now, people don't want to do that. They just want to have science. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's, that's, the thing. Uh, that's the problem. And before, I think, you know, our grandfathers uh, were happy that they were having so many kids, you know, <laughs> so that they don't have to pay someone else. I forgot. A teacher, how do you say inundaciones? Floods. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. Are there are there any floods in El Salvador yet? Uh, no. no, I don't. Not I don't yet. know. I think there they aren't aren't. No. For for Yota. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, by Yota. Yeah. Uh, by Yota, no, not yet. Not yet. All right. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very serious situation, especially in those areas where floods happen all the time. Yes. 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 Okay. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Thank yeah. you. All right, um, any questions or comments about overpopulation? Teacher, what means subro subrogacy? Uh, subrogacy makes reference um, to a woman that she's expecting a baby, but when the baby is born, she's gonna give the baby to the original parents. So they rent your belly, they rent your stomach, you sign papers that says, okay, uh, Carmen Beatriz, she's going to be pregnant, uh, and but when the baby's born, she will give the baby to mm -hmm. these people, and so it's, that's surrogacy. Okay. Right. Any other questions or comments? No. No. No, sir. All right. So <laughs> once again, thank you very much for your time. Remember that we only have two more classes and uh, okay. please finish the platform. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank good you. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.